Right, so I'm going to show you guys how to reset your password for Kali Linux. And the thing is, this should also work for other distributions, so like Linux, Mint, Ubuntu. Right, so the first thing they need to do is you just need to restart your device, right? So as you can see, I'm on login page and all I have to do is just reset it. So reset it. And what you're looking for is this screen right here, which should launch on every BSK startup. What you need to do is press advanced options. And then from here, you're gonna have to, like, if you see these two, you're basically in the correct spot. But what you need to do is you need to press E on the top one. Right, so make sure it's the top one, not the second one, because the second one is different. So go to the top one and press E. From here, all you have to do is follow me, right? So go down, 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 down. And you need to go to basically, it says Linux and it says like quiet splash. On the screen, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to show you where to go, right? So as soon as you get to basically RO quiet splash, so you just need to press down arrow and right arrow to get to, to get there. Right, so I'm on RO Quiet Splash. From here, all I have to do is just change it to RW, so read write. And then if you go to basically Quiet Splash and press space and type in the following command, init equals bin bash. What this will do, this will basically launch a command line that allows us to basically change our password. So if you press Ctrl and X, this should launch the command line for Kali. Now, if you remember your user, that's very good. If you don't remember your user, all you have to do is type in cat etc shadow. And basically from here, look for your user. Most of the time, your user will actually have the hash. So as you can see, for the only user for me is Kali. That is the only user I have here that has a hash. So all I have to do is type in passed Kali. And it's going to ask you for a new password. So I'm just going to change it to password and password. Now, obviously, as soon as you log in, you can obviously change this again, right? So make sure that you just change it to something simple so you can just log in and then from there, just change it again if you want to or no, right? And then as soon as you're done, all you have to do is just reset your machine again. So I'm just going to reset the Kali again, right? And as you can see, basically all I have to do is type in Kali and password, right? And as you can see, I am basically logged in, right? So I'm going to press who am I? And as you can see, I am Kali. And obviously if you want to change your password again, all you have to do is just type in password again and change your uh, basically password for the user. Now the changes in the startup options, that is only temporarily. You do not have to go back and change anything. And that's to be honest, that's it. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And peace, thank you for watching.